Now I hear y'all saying I've lost it. This man is starting to talk about items that people only use once in their playthroughs just to get the first tier of magic. But do you really know and understand the grass trap? This is going to be part of my item series, looking at items in the game that don't get much love. I used to do these before but now I want to start them up again. So let's get into it. The grass trap is a basic item. You have it at the start of the game. It costs 6 grass and 2 twigs. It's primarily used for trapping small creatures. The creatures catchable are rabbits, frogs, all types of spiders, crustachines, carrots, and moonbirds. When the trap is triggered, whatever is underneath will be captured and saved into the trap's inventory. Harvesting the trap will move the creature into the player's inventory and the trap will automatically reset. Every creature except for the frog has an inventory item, and harvesting trapped frogs will give the player frog legs. There are a few things you can do with creatures in your inventory, like how Wigford can take advantage of glowberries, or how Weber can trigger spider nets without needing to use his whistle. Some can be used for storage, and others allow for faster killing than attacking could offer. A single trap can do up to 2400 damage worth of HP. That's like half a dark sword for those characters that are weaker. Traps allow for some interesting occurrences, especially with mole worms. If you know my channel, you may have seen me talk about this before but mole worms trigger traps and don't get captured. Because of this, it activates the trap's action but doesn't capture the worm. This is why if you bait it with something the mole can take, the trap will force the item into the mole's inventory. With this, you can force stacks of items into the mole's inventory and use them as a bundle wrap for minerals. But there's another thing that's interesting. You may not know it, but the trap actually did capture the mole. But it's a ghost mole. What the trap does normally is it creates a copy of the creature it captures and puts it in its inventory. This allows creatures to starve and die when the trap is left alone for a long time. So even though there is no mole in the trap's inventory for the player to collect, there still is one mole that exists within the code and that mole can starve in the trap leading for moles and traps to produce an infinite amount of meat. Since the trap makes a copy of the mole with all the stats that it has, you can end up starving a mole till the last second and that will cause a trap to make a copy of the mole that's about to starve, causing a meat to spawn nearly instantly. Doing this causes the trap to lose double durability though, so every trap will only produce 4 meats versus 8. But you can just trap a mole in some walls and they will always stay there starving. So if you randomly need 4 morsels, you can quickly drop a trap and easily farm meat off of this one mole. Traps always were a simple item, but they can really be helpful through the whole game. From combat to food to just messing around. Remember that this item is always part of your arsenal.